All right, church, today we're going to look at a proverb and see the challenge that God has for us to apply in our lives. This is what it says. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Now, as we listen to that, I want you to hear it because, you know, we all have heard, if you've been around the church at all or anything about God throughout your life, you know there's these major Ten Commandments that were given in the Old Testament. And shouldn't lie is one of them. Now, when you think of the commandments of God, you know, not to murder, not to commit adultery, have no other gods before me, all those things that are like we would view as, you know, like that's pretty strong, heavy sin, and you shall not lie as one of them. So as we think about that, you know, being categorized or put in the list of not murdering adultery and all those things we talked about, think about this, that God lists lying in those commandments as one of the most important things that we need to understand and live by. And here in the Proverbs, he tells us that he detests it. And as I was thinking about that and reading the scripture and, and thinking about the church and people and dealing with stuff, you know, I think one of the things that I would say is lying is probably one of the easiest sins for us to commit. I mean, opportunities happen every day for you and I to lie. And honestly, I think some of us don't even really give that a thought. And sometimes we do lie just out of the the moment of not wanting to deal with something, avoid something, whatever the situation may be. And so we, we think nothing of it. Like it's not like a major thing to us. And so, no, it is a major thing to God. And if it's a major thing to God, it needs to be a major thing to us. The Lord detests lying lips. You shall not lie. This is scripture. This is God's word. He's not okay with it. He wants people of integrity to represent him. The word said, he delights in those who tell the truth. Let's be a truth-telling, non-lying church and represent him well. God bless you today.